All right. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to these divinity, these divine tarot. Thank you for joining in with me today. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome back to all the former subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers. Once again, thank you all for joining in with me today. As you see from the title of the video, we're going to go ahead and dive into this beautiful, divine, feminine, holistic health and healing energy. Yes. All righty. Before we do, y'all, it should go without saying, please do check the description box for any information that you may want or need to know. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to let me know. As it states in the description box, these readings are intended to be timeless. Time and energy are fluid. Meaning, you could have already gone through this, you may currently be going through this, and or this may be a prophetic message to come if you decide to embrace and embody the energy or advice that Spirit has for you within the reading or readings. Keep in mind, they are general. Not all may apply to you. I may not even be talking to you nor about you. I may be talking to or about someone to whom you're closely connected, friend, family, or foe. I do not know. Only you know your life, so use your free will and discernment to determine that. Do not force that shoe to fit if it doesn't. I am not responsible for your feature toes, nor them currents hurting because you decided to make some work that ain't for you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -mm. Be self-aware, self-accountable. You'll never be led astray, I promise you. Anyway, um, and I know we are kind of sort of specifically focused on the divine feminine. However, I may say he, she in reference to masculine or feminine energy, okay? We all have them both within us, so please keep that in mind. It's just it's just the vibe. It's just the energy. Um, Flip-flop yourself as you need to apply it where it lies. Otherwise, let it fly, all right? I am also big on numerology. Whether or not I call it out, but if and when I do, I intend for it to maybe resonate with your life path number, the day or month you're born, or even possibly the house you want to pay particular attention to in your natal chart. However, whatever, all right? Could just be a message of confirmation that you need to pay attention at that particular time. I don't know, whatever. All right. Um, and then these decks have already been blessed, shuffled and blessed. Um, we are using the Spirit Animal Oracle as well as the Mystical Wisdom. And they will be linked below in case you are interested, okay? Let's get a quick word of prayer before we get into this. To the most high, heavenly and divine, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, I come to you saying thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so very much for this day and this opportunity. Thank you for using me as a clear and open channel to bring forth the messages to the collective straight and clear. No chaser. Thank you for allowing me to speak the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help us all. Please allow the message to uplift, enlighten, heal, strengthen, protect, nurture, nourish, just... Bring the wisdom that is intended to help heal, especially the Divine Feminine, focusing on the Divine Feminine. But in all aspects of our lives, I pray that you allow it to play out as I know you will see fit for the highest good for any and all involved. And for all these blessings, I come ask and give thanks yet again. Ashe, 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 all. All right, you guys, without further ado, let's get on into it. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get on in it. Let's see what Spirit has for us today. What do you have for the Divine Feminine today? What do you have for the Divine Feminine today? I heard peace. What do you have for the Divine Feminine today? Joy. <laughs> yeah. Peace and joy. Uh huh. This one. Ooh. Okay. Lion. Lion. Leo energy. Number 37 may be important to you. Um, you may have been born on March 7th, July 3rd, or 7th. Um, or I should say March 3rd or 7th, July 3rd or 7th, or even October 3rd or 7th. However, whatever. Because it potentially is the number 10 and or 1. Of course, this could be even August 3rd or 7th, okay? Um, or even 10th, for that matter. Or the 1st, since I said 1. Give unto others, and this shall be received unto you. That's what I just heard. It says, be generous in spirit. And this is just what I'm hearing. It's the God in me. <laughs> yeah. It's the God in me. You're meant to show this. And they are... 
Leos don't have a, a problem whatsoever showing their regalness, showing their their life, spreading their love. They have huge, huge hearts, <laughs> you know? Um, it's beautiful energy. Uh, and I heard, you know, it's something about the center of attention, but it's not in an egocentric way. It's very just your light is shining bright or it needs to if you because we talked yesterday about no longer being in the shadows you know what i'm saying like even bringing those uh shadow side type of uh energies or aspects within you into the light because that is part of your power you know i don't know bottom of the deck Ooh, we got who is this badger that's what I, I that's what i saw in the um i couldn't think of what animal it was when i said skunk in the um celebration yesterday it was a badger um and look it's out here and and it's in reverse though and it's the number four somebody's not stable in themselves because the card itself says be fearless and bold yeah somebody's not somebody is uh getting oil all over these cards somebody is um yeah somebody needs that self-confidence it's time with that 37 petition to be in a 10 it's time for you to dive deep and um, uncover, unleash your courage, your, 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 find your self-esteem. You know what I'm saying? I'm even getting like childlike energy in this badger and it's, it's, it's calling forth to, to nurture your inner child, heal those trauma, you know, those wounds and, um, and, and renew yourself. Like get back to, to what you know to be true within you. So that's confirmation right there. Thank you, spirit. Beautiful bird. Yeah. That's what that is. Let's see the wisdom. Let's see the wisdom within this. What is the wisdom for the divine? Oh, see, look, immediately. Hold on. <laughs> oh, we. Oh, see. See? Don't fall into this pattern. Deadly sins. Humanity destructive traits. Mm hmm. This is almost, not even almost, it, it's screaming ego to me. Like I was just saying. Um, not. Cause that that this line is calm, in particular. But when you when you resist yourself, you know what I'm saying. When you resist, um, especially being your balanced self, because that number four is screaming balance and stability, but it's reversed. So so many of you are not, like I said from the jump, not balanced, right? Um, not centered, especially in your heart. Way that's powerful because Leo does rule the heart, a order, blood pressure, circulation, right? And it's like four is the fourth chakra of the heart yes so um that's when you that's when ego kind of can take over and you get into all the low vibe energies of which we about to read but it's you know it's like greed envy jealousy you know all them all them gluttony whatever else that's that's not really vibing for you oh and some of y'all it's the it's the what is it what's that saying I forgot how it go, but it's not the love of money. It's the lust of money. Like, you know how they say money is the root to all evil. That's not, people misinterpret that saying, I feel, quite often. And it's not, it's not money in and of itself, because money is just energy. It's just a vibration. Same way, oh wow, powerful. Thank you, Spirit, for this message. Okay, y'all know I'll always be saying, if you don't know, I, I always say that the highest vibration there is is love and that exudes from the heart right i mean to be in perfect peace and balance and know thyself and especially emotionally and and, and understand that you have to be at a level of understanding to to truly feel and vibrate in the energy of agape or unconditional love which is the highest like I said, highest frequency, highest energy, which is the same currency, right? Same as currency, which is money, essentially. Yes. So it's all a frequency, all energy, all a vibe. Now, when you are at that level, everything is, is free flowing. You know, money comes in effortlessly, easily, right? You attract and, 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 and you, I, what did I say? You got to give in order to receive, right? So when you are there, you know, like, you ain't even got to think about it. You just know. It's like, and people, people will see that light. They know, like I said, it's the God in me. They know, like, it ain't even got to be, it ain't words don't even have to be spoken. But they may wonder, especially the ones in lower vibe, they may wonder, like, damn, 
how can I get that? You know what I'm saying? How can I be like that? How you know they want to steal? They want to they, they want to rob you of your energy because you you may be vibing high and they don't they don't know that they got to put in the work to do it and get it themselves. You understand what I'm trying to say? So basically, if you're not if you're not in that high vibe energy, that's when you fall victim or prey to that low vibe, that lusting for the money. You know what I mean? Like lusting for that energy, not understanding that 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 lust that is already at a lower frequency. I pray that makes sense. I don't really know how to say it any other way. And so when you are in that lower frequency, that's when you will have the tendencies to have your money stuck, stagnant, blocked. You know what I'm saying? You, you start losing stuff because people don't even realize they are in this energy of the seven deadly sins. You know what I mean? Which we about to uncover here in a minute. And that's what is uh, blocking them. But until you know, until you know, like I said, understand and learn um, how to transmute and, and and get up out of that low vibe energy, all else will be blocked. All else will fail, is what I heard. And I feel like this is beautiful potential. They don't want you. Spirit doesn't want you to hold back because I'm getting that four of pentacles, like Taurus energy, like like hoarding, you know. Being selfish and suffocating the flow of your love and of money, if that's what you're seeking. It's one and the same, is what I just tried to explain, but I don't know if I really did a good job of doing that. Anyways, we're going to move on into the um, the card itself, by the way. It says, find a way to abundance, and that's what I'm trying to tell you. That's how you do it, <laughs> you know? <sighs> Start with your heart, okay? Clear out those blockages therein. Release these seven deadly sins, which we're going to get to in a minute, because I'm sure you're probably going to find yourself if you are having issues with the flow or your abundance or, you know, if you're not seeing it or you feel like you're not seeing it. Because a lot of times we'd be right up in it. It'd be right up under our nose. But like I said about that Taurus, that hoarding four pinnacles type of energy, you you so um, you so used to to like being overprotective or guarding it and guarding your heart. Right. That. You don't even realize the abundance of love that's surrounding you and the potential that has to come through that's already within you, right? I don't know. Anyway, let's start with this. Uh... Actually, I'm feeling called to start with this badger. And look, I turned right to the lion, so I don't, I don't, I don't even know. You know what? Let's just go with lion then. Cause I turned right to it, but I feel we're gonna we're gonna probably read all of the badger, but we definitely will do that protection message. Anyways, let's lion spirit is first since I turned right to it and pages 113 through 115. But for what I will read you, it ends on 114. I don't know. So be generous of spirit. A healthy ego means you ease God's order instead of edging God out. Lion spirit's appearance is a reminder that you have been given the gift of pride and a healthy sense of your worth to express your divine authentic self in a unique way. You are both the king and the queen, secure in your prosperity and wisdom and generous of spirit as you help others. Take pride in your ability to serve from the heart. <laughs> Contentment with what you have right now allows you to use your resources wisely as you give to others in ways that educate, heal, inspire, and delight. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Be proud, yet humble. Practice gratitude and you will find that the accolades that come to you are no match for the joy of knowing what you have been able to do for others through expressing the bounty of generosity within you. Like I just, mm, mm, mm. Lion spirit knows there is a great savanna before you and many who will benefit from the healthy expression of your unique um, set of gifts if you choose to work in partnership with spirit. Let me read that again. Lion Spirit knows that there is a great savanna before you and many who will benefit from the healthy expression of your unique set of gifts if you choose to work in partnership with Spirit. All your friendships flourish as you express your worth and generosity of Spirit with humility and kindness. What a blessing you can be to all. That's what I'm saying. It's meant to be spread. It's not meant to be hoarded like the Four of Pentacles. I'm telling y'all. It's the God in me. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway. Okay, Badger. Let's see what you got, buddy. So, be fearless and bold. Oh, I'm sorry. Pages one. Uh, uh, excuse me, twelve through fourteen. But for what I'm gonna read to you, which I said is the protection protection message, is on pages thirteen and fourteen. All right. 
Um, when Badger Spirit comes to protect you, he reminds you that anger or aggression, argumentative behavior, and being pushy or manipulative will not result in a positive outcome. Perhaps someone close to you has excess Badger energy, or perhaps that energy is pent up in you. Either way, now is the time to calm down and allow the energy to pass through you. Go for a hike or brisk walk, shake it off, <laughs> or dance it out so you can return to the situation determined and committed, but not so intense that you overwhelm others and yourself. The appearance of Badger Spirit also serves as a reminder if you have been relentlessly pursuing something that keeps eluding you, the message is wait a minute. The appearance of Badger Spirit also serves as a reminder if you have been relentlessly pursuing something that keeps eluding you. The message is that it's time to surrender it up to to your higher power and focus on something else. Bad that's the four of pentacles, like release it, let it go, so it can be what it may. Alright, Badger Spirit wants to protect you from self-will, run rampant. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> Badger Spirit wants to protect you from self-will, run rampant. From being obsessed with getting what you want in the form you prefer. And timing that fits perfectly with your notions of what has to be. Remember, the world doesn't revolve around your wants. <laughs> Better, more beautiful opportunities will be the result when you release some of that Badger Spirit intensity along with your need to have it your way 100%. Like I just said, that's why they kept giving me that Four of Pentacles. No joke. It ain't no coincidence. All right, let's move on to the mystical wisdom. And I guess we'll start with the Seven Daily Sins, which is probably towards the back. Yes. Page 52. Humanity's Destructive Traits. Welcome to the world of human nature. The seven deadly sins are at the root of all destructive behavior. Greed and other negative traits drive harmful human activity that impacts the quality of life on earth, particularly the environment. It is a lack of concern for the preservation of Mother Earth and all these human destructive traits that are leading to the devastation of life on this planet. What the seven deadly sins mean? Sloth. Laziness. Being physically and emotionally inactive. Gluttony. Overindulgence in anything to the point of waste. Lust, y'all. <laughs> and I was getting that heavy. An intense desire for physical and sexual gratification. Greed. Excessive pursuit of material possessions and power. Wrath. Extreme feelings of uncomfortable, or excuse me, uncontrollable and uncomfortable, shoot. Anger. Okay. Envy. Discontentment aroused by another's good fortune and pride, excessive self love and arrogance. All right, and look how the lion is looking at that. But I feel, which is beautiful, I feel that, like I said, you have the power to transmute any of these. She's fighting them off, right, and returning all that is good because that rainbow energy that's all that love and light and honestly, unconditional love. Right? She's she's pushing them demons back. She 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 killing them seven deadly sins. What I just went over, and bringing that bringing what is meant for her back unto her. That's beautiful. Okay. I don't know why I'm hearing Jaheen. Gotta find my way back, way back to you, baby. <laughs> All right, money, 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 money. Page forty-one. Find a way to abundance. Don't worry, you will find a solution to gain the money you require. Though you may have suffered a misfortune such as unemployment or encountered financial difficulties, know that there are always people around to help. There's always a way out. Like I said, you're never stuck with that Four of Pentacles, okay? Find your internal fortitude and guiding light to persist in gaining back what you have lost. Do the best you can with what you have, and if you need help, ask for it. Things will get better. The Mantra I have faith that a solution is possible. I love it. Yes, thank you. That's confirmation. I have faith that a solution is possible. All right. Come on through. Come on through then. <laughs> work for it. I'm going to make you work for it. That's what Spirit is saying. <laughs> it's okay, though. Don't worry about it. You already got it. Don't worry about that, sweetheart. You already got it. It's in the bag, like quite literally. So that's what I have. I'm going to leave it there, y'all. I pray that it resonates. If it does, you know what to do. For those of you who are new, that means comment your testimonies down below. You never know how this may help someone grow, but especially in including yourself. And I pray that's what you're here for. Whether or not someone comes to mind, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so very much for doing so. I truly appreciate it. And you have no idea how much it helps. If you want to join me for another day, you can check the link in the description box below. If you're looking for anything else, you can check the playlist on my channel, okay? 
plenty of pick a card, zodiac readings, general readings, whatever, what have you. Go with what you feel, all right? Please, 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 y'all. Just take care of yourself. And don't forget your love and light. It truly makes everything all right. Please. Thank you.